Hi everyone, today I'm going to try all of my white gel pens and see if there's one that I like best. I usually, for highlights, use white gouache or even sometimes titanium white watercolors. But today we're going to go with the pens and I got most of these guys in subscription boxes like Art Snacks or Scroller Box. Uh, because I tend not to buy them, I don't really like white gel pens, I don't like that it gives a different texture to my paper, to my drawings. It kind of is obvious that there's a highlight that was put with one of those. So that's why I usually don't use them. But, um, so for this for this uh, test, we're going to use uh, the Stillman & Burn Nova series. Uh, this is a black sketchbook, which is pretty cool. I like it very much. Although I haven't worked in it as much as I wanted to. And uh, we're going to get rid of all the jelly rolls first. So I've got three different jelly rolls here. I believe the 08 is the original one. And then came up with the 05 and the 10. The 10 having a bigger, um, a bigger tip, broader tip. So... With all of them, or off, very often, I think that when the, uh, the ink goes on the paper, it's nice and white, but often the paper absorbs it, and that's why I'm always disappointed with them, because I wish they just stayed nice and white, like, like when they're still fresh. So now we're going to try the 05. Looks like this one's dried out. So you can tell that the um, the tip of this one is finer, which also means less white coming out. It's not as bright for sure. And now we're going to do the number 10, which is a much thicker tip. So the ink flow for this one is really nice. All right, then we have the, the Pentels. I have a few of them. I've got the hybrid gel and this one is called the grip hybrid gel grip this is a medium one and then we have the hybrid gel grip here also which is a thinner one and um, one that I just recently bought which is the Pentel Milky Pop so let's try all the Pentels now To draw with or write with, this one is really nice because the flow is really nice, but because the tip is smaller, then you can see that there's less ink coming out, so it's not as bright. For this one, the, the flow is nice too, but it's a little scratchier than the hyper gel.
here I've got something that I got in a pack of uh, Brand X marker touch new. They're called touch new markers, uh, alcohol based markers, and this was this one was in it. So touch new. The flow of this one is not the best. And you can tell because you can tell it's scratchy because it goes back into the um, the ink that I put it put down and then you have the the lines of the tip, the metal tip that's removing the, the white ink. So this is not very good. And uh, finally, I've got the uh, Signo, the Uniball Signo. So I've got these two, regular one and a broad one. This one writes really well. But again, because it's a finer tip, there's not as much ink coming out. Bear in mind that I haven't used some of them for quite a while, so they're a little dry as I just get started with them. This is bit scratchy. Now I wanted to go over the second swatch here to see if it layers and to see if I can get wider results. And the reason why I wanted to dry to let it dry is because if I don't then it's gonna the tip of the pen is gonna remove some of the ink. I'm not sure if this one's just works like that or it's just not working properly. It's all dried out. I'm not quite sure. So for these, for the Pentel, the, the Sakura, um, you can go over it and layer them. For the uh, Pentel, it looks like it kind of re-wets the ink that was previously uh, put on the paper. So it's hard to add another layer without scratching some ink off. Yeah, I'm not even going to try with this one. Yeah, this is kind of like the Penta where you can't really add layers. If you want to layer, uh, the Sakura is a good idea. Now, I've got two more that I wanted to try. The Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, and it's white. So this one is actually waterproof. Well, none of these are. And I can show you in a minute. Um, and this is uh, India ink. I think they make a, a, a fat one of these as well. Now these work very well because they are markers and so when you put them down on paper like when you color with them they work really well my concern is that then it's not very white not very bright and the Posca so this is not like you know like this is India ink this is actually acrylic paint so you can tell there's a ball in there you should shake
and there's uh, different nibs for those two. You have a, this is a small one. Uh, you have medium and big. I think uh, they make brush ones too. Um, so, like the Faber Castell pit, this is a marker, so it's easier to color things with it. So you can layer uh, the fabric castells. The problem is that because it's a marker, um, if you layer it too much, then the paper will peel and it's not very much fun. Uh, this is not quite dry yet, but this one you can, because it's acrylic, it doesn't move. But once on paper, you cannot remove it. Um, so you can layer it as much as you want. Now I want to show you that the other ones here aren't permanent on paper. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe this here will help you. Although they seem to be um, gripping to that black paper nicely, but you see that I was able to remove some here. And some like the Pentel is obvious that you can actually really remove it and kind of acts like watercolor in, in a way. It's the same with the uniball. So this is India ink, so it's water uh, proof, and this is waterproof as well. Although it's not quite, not quite dry yet. Here you can tell better here. So waterproof, waterproof not and then this is I guess we can say that this is water resistant um, because it doesn't move that much even when I have two layers here it just it does remove some but not as bad as these guys so I don't know which one is your favorite which one do you usually use um, it seems like it's a rule where when there's a thicker tip because it promotes uh, the flow of the ink then you will have a better result you'll have a wider white so you see with the Pentel the bigger one is wider the jelly roll the biggest one is wider the Signo the biggest one is wider and then um, well this is different but um, the problem is that if you want really fine details, you can't use the, the thick tip. So um, you have the opportunity, although the Posca, the Posca is pretty thick too compared to, let's say, the Jello Roll 05. Um, it really depends on your needs, on your preferences. Uh, they're all pretty, pretty white. They, most of them do not stay as white. Uh, when you put them on paper, uh, they they all uh, get absorbed a little bit, except for the Posca, because it's paint, it's acrylic paint. But in general, they're they're pretty good. I like the Pentel because they they write really well. Um, sometimes the Sakura, uh, the ink flow is not consistent and you end up having marks kind of like this one where the the tip of the metal tip of your pen will just make a mark in the middle of your paint so um, I think if you want the most consistent result would be with the Posca pen actually I wanted to point out something before I leave 
Um, the result of your pens, if you use it on black paper, will depend on the paper you're using. So like I told you earlier, this is a Nova series from Stillman and Bird, and this one is a black Stonehenge paper. So if you compare the whites, I rewrote them in the same order. So we have the Sakura Jelly Rolls, and here you see that uh, they're not as bright on the Stonehenge paper. Uh, the the ten, the jelly roll, the jelly roll ten is still the brightest, but there's not a huge difference between these two, the zero eight and the zero five. Um, and the zero eight doesn't look as white as on this paper. So the paper really absorbed uh, the ink and really made it look a bit more dull. For the hybrid. Uh, for the Pentel, um, I, f while the ink was still wet, uh, the two, the hybrid gel, the smaller one, and the Milky Pop, they look exactly the same. But the Milky Pop actually got brighter as it dried for some reason. Still, you can tell that all three of them are brighter on uh, the Nova series paper rather than the Black Stonehenge paper. And again, the bigger tip gives the better results. The Touch New, um, I don't know if I should even talk about this one. Um, you can tell it's really much worse on the uh, Stonehenge paper than on the Stillman and Burden paper. For the Uniball, the Signo, uh, it's pretty much the same, although the, the bigger tip is pretty good. Still, it, the result is pretty similar to this one. Faber Castell Pit is about the same. Uni Posca is the most um, obvious here. Look at that. It's so much brighter on this one than on the Stonehenge paper. It really soaked up the, um, the paint into its fibers and so it doesn't show up as much. So, you know, people will have different opinions, probably depending on how they use these pens, depending on what paper they use, depending on what other medium they use them with. So this is just to give you a little idea of what they look like and results may vary. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.